is Shayla, and I make these videos every Wednesday. It's a good old uh, Avo in Sydney. Just kidding, I'm practicing my Australian terms. Hi guys, my name is Shayla, and I make these videos every Wednesday. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe. I make these videos every Wednesday about my travels. I've been traveling since 2015, and I make these videos every Wednesday to kind of tell you what's going on. Okay, what? Australia is somewhere that I didn't realize was as much on my bucket list as it is. I wanna know what your dream vacation is. Either something you've already done or something that you are just cannot wait to do. And tell me why, tell me why it was so great or why you wanna to go to that place because I think the why is everything. I am drooling over all of this. It seemed like this, well it is, this place that's completely on the other side of the world. I'm here working with Young Living's media crew. It's real good. We met in Sydney, did a layover in Tasmania, and then went to Flinders Island. I've never been in such a small commercial plane. There were literally, I think, nine rows, so maybe maybe, two, maybe 18, maybe there were 10 rows. I don't know, like 18, 20 seats in this thing. And you couldn't stand up to walk through. You had to lean down and go through it smaller than a bus. Flinders Island is one of the most beautiful and remote places ever. There's 750 people that live there, and there's 3 million wallabies. And if you don't know what a wallaby is, because I didn't, it's like a little mini kangaroo. And we went and fed them. Like, the, the, the best thing I can compare this to is like deer. Because you could go feed the deer, but they're also kind of roadkill, and sometimes you can eat them, I guess. It was interesting, the roadkill, because in Puerto Rico, the roadkill was iguanas. In Minnesota, it's deer, and here it's wallabies. But there's also an animal called the wombat. That was also some roadkill. But we met this really cool guy named Addy, who makes surfboard out of replastic everything. Replastic? Recycled everything. And he raises baby wombats. If he sees a wombat hit on the side of the road, he'll go and check and see if it's got any babies. If there is a baby, he'll take it and he'll raise it as a mama. So I got to play with Wani the wombat. This thing, at first it was like tired and sleepy, and then it wouldn't leave you alone. It kept like lurching at you and biting at you. We went on a boat on Flinders Island to a different island and took the drone and went all over. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The coolest part of being with the Young Living media crew was that you literally got to see, I got to see the seeds, and then I got to see everything growing, and I got to see it being harvested, and then how it's turned into oil, and then that oil. I was nerding out completely and just fascinated by all of it. Oh my gosh, the other thing that I did on Flinders Island, I can't believe this. Okay, so there's a sheep shearing competition where there's a competition to see who can shear the sheep the fastest. And then they were doing another competition where you had to take sheep wool that had already been sheared off, bundle it up, and then throw it out, and whoever, I don't even really know what the rules were. You had to like make it flat and throw something on. Everyone knows that I don't belong there because it's a very small place. And I'm asking this woman like, so what's the trick? Everyone said you're the best. And she was so nervous that she was trying to give me advice and she was trying to tell me what to do, but she was like, I was like, I'm nervous. She's like, I'm nervous, da da da. Cause she was actually competing. Then we came back to Sydney where I am now. And I was like, guys, I think I'm just gonna stay in Sydney for a little bit. And when I think about this, I get a little bit, it just kind of like makes my stomach drop a little. So they, everyone left. So now I'm here on the other side of the world by myself. Kind of terrifying feeling, but not really. Australia, I think I say Australia. Australia, I'm pretty sure I say all, I've, I've been saying Australia. I guess I didn't realize how much I was like terrified and excited to come to Australia because it's on the other side of the world. Feels like this unattainable, crazy thing that I could never actually go to. And if I did, I needed to make it the six month thing. Once I got here, I was like, well now I'm here. That wasn't so bad, that wasn't so hard, and I just feel like that applies to everything. Like everything that you're like, that's what I wanna do, but whoa, getting there would be so hard. And it seems impossible until you just do it. I had like a little epiphany on the plane and it was just, it was magic. But so now I'm here in Sydney, and I'm, I'm going on a walk past the opera house. This was like this, insanely iconic thing that I wanted to see. And so when I saw it, it was just like, what? There it is. I was a fangirl of a building. I was like, this is the opera house. Australia is somewhere I think that I've always wanted to go and I cannot believe that I'm at the opera house. And there's so much going on. There's all these people. 
I'm just being such a tourist. I've never liked this. One thing I've noticed since I've been here, everyone is beautiful. Like all the people are beautiful. They're all dressed really trendy and cool. Even the backpackers are like cute and cute. And I'm like, I need to curl my hair before I go out or do something so I don't look like I'm coming out of the bush. I'm gonna take a, a train to the Blue Mountains, kind of get out of the city. I'm not a city person. I'm gonna find a hostel. But I've always encouraged people to stay in hostels and I still do. But last time I was in a hostel in Santorini, I was like, am I getting too old for hostels? But then I had the best time ever. So I was like, yes, no, it's still good. And so the same thing is with here. I'm like, I'm gonna go stay in a hostel. Because when you're traveling alone, it's the best way to meet people. I'm here till Sunday. So the next video will be all about my adventures through Sydney. After this, on Sunday, I'll head back to Minnesota. I'll be in Minnesota for, I don't know, like a month and a half. I'm gonna be on the radio again, do a little demo for Lululemon in the Mall of America, do a podcast, and then Seth and I are headed to New Zealand for two months. We're gonna buy a camper van, take all the photos, take all the videos, do all the hiking because there's no natural predators, so there's nothing to worry about there. I'm just super amped about everything. I wanna know what your dream vacation is. Either something you've already done or something that you are just cannot wait to do. And tell me why. Tell me why it was so great or why you wanna to go to that place because I think the why is everything. So let me know if you have any Sydney tips because I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this week. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to get 200 likes on this video. This is Shayla signing off from Sydney, Australia. And I will see you guys all next week. Mwah.